Shouldn't we all be more aware of the situation? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is about my process mining toolbox. Today we will take a look at the interactive data aware heuristic miner by Felix Manard. This mining algorithm can produce so-called causal nets and we'll have a look at these. Furthermore, this algorithm analyzes the data and can tell us something about the business rules at branching points. And of course, we will look at the performance with our four example logs. So let's get started. Okay, the interactive data aware heuristics miner. Um, first, our travel booking example. So we select it here. And first you can see that now we have a causal net. So in the causal net, um, we can see that there are these um, arcs here and they say that after refining the request, there may be cancel request and offer with train at the same time or cancel with offer with bus at the same time. So this represents a possible parallelism here and this says more than the um, the pure directly follows graph. And um, what we can see if we compare the structure that this is really quite nice. So um, we have decline offer and you can really detect the same structure that's here in this um, causal net. That's very nice. Um, we can also take a data causal net um, as the output now and um, choose that we want to see all of the attributes here and we get these data points here so we have that um, after approve offer if approved equals true we go to pay the trip and if approved equals false we go to decline offer that's very interesting next um, we want to see uh, how this performs on the recruiting workflow with these multiple instance tasks and the internal phone interview, live interview and final approve. So we go here to the recruiting and take the interactive data where heuristics minor and start it. And we have a good representation, I think. Um, we have pick candidates, then we have the phone interview, um, the live interview, and the final approve. And we have the sequence here. And we can also see that sometimes we have several phone interviews here, or we have the several live interviews. So this is the multiple instance aspect. And um, we also um, have the rejected here and we have this arc which again shows that there is some kind of parallelism possible. Um, the data in this case are not so interesting um, so um, let's continue with the procure to pay example. And um, here we have the, the causal net um, and we have the flexible heuristics miner. And what we can see here is just a pure sequence. So um, we can try to lower the frequency or, you know, um, yeah, turn something here on the, on the dependency maybe. Um, so we start with um, fill in equipment rental request, then we have select equipment, confirm availability, cancel request. Um, we also have add details to request. So after confirm availability, we go up here. Uh, we go to approve rental request, prepare purchase order, receive purchase order, 
and so on and so forth. So this is quite interesting. So I think we can say that this more or less represents um, what is in the process model, um, especially if we look at the sub workflows that we have here. Um, we can also change um, the dependency heuristics to to the to taking the alpha minor and um, you know play with the parameters here and um, get different representations. Um, the data, let's, let's look at what, what's happening to the data. So we choose a, a data causal net here. We configure the data configuration to select everything. And now, um, for example, um, what we can see here is um, after confirm availability, for example, we have available equals false or available equals true. So that has been discovered. And we can also look at the approve rental request. So if the request decision was select new equipment, we go back to select equipment. Um, if it was approved, we go to prepare purchase order. And if it was cancel, we go to inform of um, cancellation. And we have, um, we have several points here where um, the data that have been discovered are quite interesting. So extension needed equals to false and so on and so forth. So I think this result is quite good. And now um, let's look at the last example, uh, the right report log. So this is um, right report, the right report log and the model. So we start with create report. We always finish with publi uh, publish report. Um, and we have edit report that can be repeated several times and check report can be repeated several times. But um, what we cannot do here is edit report after check report. So it doesn't really capture the essence of our declarative model and also the logs that are in here. So this is a little like the inductive minor. So the, the fitness is not so good. The interactive data aware heuristic minor. I definitely recommend it. The additional information from the data is valuable. Furthermore, causal nets are a nice way of displaying the nature of a log. The next video will be an overview on the performance of our six algorithms. So stay tuned.